Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie a fly called a Zulu. This is a wet fly whose origins have been lost to time, I think. I believe it came out of Europe in the mid-1900s, and there's a lot of variations of this fly out there. This one we're going to tie in black. Another common one I've seen is called a Blue Zulu, uh, where the front collar is just tied with blue hackle feathers. The rest of it remains the same. So here's the fly in the vise. So the hook I'm using today is a TMC Nymph hook, uh, 3761 in size 10. It's a two extra long, one extra heavy. And the thread we'll be using today is UTC 70 in black. So we'll start by getting our thread started about an eye length behind the hook eye. We're gonna run this all the way back to the bend of the hook and stop just over the barb. Run the thread back forward. First material we're going to tie in today is just going to be some simple red wool. This is three ply, which I think is a little bit heavy for this fly. So I'm going to strip out one ply, leave us with two. Tie this in on top of the hook and run our thread all the way back to the start of the bend. We'll make this tail about a hook gap in length. So about there looks good. So once we've got the tail tied in, we're going to fluff that out a little bit. I've got a Stonfo tool here with some Velcro on it. Release all those fibers. That looks good. And we run our thread back forward to our tie-in point. We're going to use some Uni Mylar in size 14. This is a gold silver. So we'll strip a little bit of that off for our rib. We're going to tie this in with the gold side out on the near side of the hook. And later on in the tie, as we wrap this rib forward, it will fold itself over to the silver side, which is what we want exposed on the finished fly. Bring your thread back forward to the initial tie-in point. And we're going to tie the body material in next, which is just some strung peacock curl. Let's see if I can find four nice long strands here. Get these tips all evened up. These tips are really fragile, so we're going to break off about the last three quarters of an inch so they don't break off on us in the middle of the tie. I'm going to tie these in all the way back to the base of the tail. Looks good. We'll run our thread back forward. I'm going to use a rotary vise function to tie this material in. So take our half hitch tool, quick half hitch. Catch our thread in the, bo in the um, bobbin holder. Careful of the hook point. 
This material is pretty fragile. If you catch it, you'll be able to break it. To reach our tie-in point, we'll take three or four wraps around our material to hold it in place. Snip off the excess. Next is going to be a hackle feather, uh, size to the hook. This is from a whiting dry fly cape. Going to free up a few of the fibers. We're going to snip those off close to the rachis or the stem, leaving some stubble like so. That provides a good purchase point for our thread. It's less likely that it's going to pull out. And we're just going to pommel this back. Uh, it absolutely doesn't want to cooperate. Let's try that again. There we go. We're just going to make open turns all the way back to the base of the tail. Once we get there, we're going to pick up our mylar. I'm going to capture that. Once you've captured it, you can let it go. And we're going to make open spiral turns forward. Don't worry about catching any of the hackles. There's really no way to avoid it. Take a few turns around the mylar to anchor it in place. We'll snip that off. Snip off the hackle feather. And the last material we're going to tie in is going to be the collar. That's uh, a hairline hen saddle. We want uh, something that the fiber is going to reach back to about the hook point. Pull off a suitable feather. Take all of the fuzzies off the bottom. We're going to tie this in from the tip. So we grasping the tip of the feather, pull your fibers back to form kind of a triangle. And we're going to snip that off at about maybe a mil and a half. And that's going to be our tie-in point. I like to use a little bit of wax in the thread here to make sure I get a good purchase. Take our hackle pliers. Preen the fibers back and we're going to make two full turns. Continuing to preen those back, working up towards the eye. Like so. Tie that off. Cut our excess.
sweep the fibers back, start to form our head. Once we're satisfied with the size and the shape of the head, we'll take our whip finish tool, do a four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot, cut our tying thread, and add a little head cement. And a fly is finished. Feel free to leave comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. To keep up to date on all the videos here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you again next time.